Hi everyone, welcome to the Spelling Bee. I'm... Oh, you can't hear me? Hi, welcome to the Spelling Bee. First up, we have the cocky one. Who knows what's going through his head? It's obviously not a tropical vacation. This is the start of round one. Your first word is tropical. Tropical. T-O-P-I-K-A-L. Tropical. I got this. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. What? This kid was definitely the alternative for someone. All right, your word is cat. Okay, okay. K-A-T. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Oh yeah, there's two T's, I'm sorry. Next we have the well-known announcer that, um, well, can't can announce. announce. Yeah. <laughs> your word is cat. The definition is a small d domestic. That's my this is the kid that always gets out in the first round. Sometimes we think he's part pterodactyl. All right, your word is sadness. M-E. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. <laughs> this girl has several different stereotypes. One of them being crying when she wins, and the other is spelling words in the air. All right. You are our last one. If you get this correct, you are a winner. Your word is avalanche. A V A L A N C H E. Correct. You are a winner. What? Why did she win? What? <laughs> You're lucky. Yeah. And of course, with all our Spelling Bee contestants, we have to have a couple feisty moms in the stands. I mean, this mom wrote the word on a sign and then held it up and her kid still got it wrong. Well, the sign was wrong too, though. The word is cat. Okay. A. T. T. My child's gonna win this. Next we have the strict teacher. And the girl that sleeps the whole time. Riley, wake up or you're going to the principal's office. Next up we have the know-it-all. Even when he spells it wrong, he gets it right. How come he wasn't in the spelling bee? Your word is iridosoclitis. Or if it was iridosoclitis, it's easy come. Last but not least, we have the loud clapper. He claps even if it's right and if it's wrong. Thanks for watching HMS. Tune in next week for another Stereotypes.